him right in the eye. Will you do that? Hey, come here, you big dummy. Hey. Over the years, Quail has fulfilled his goals as a bullfighter. And at the age of 41, life in the arena has become more entertaining, leading the younger generation to look into the eyes of danger. You've got to get close to a bull. You've got to get his attention. You've got to get into his face, you know, and, and say, hey, here, here I am, you know. You've got to take me. Then you've got to be agile enough and uh, quick enough to get out of this bull's way. As a barrel man, Quail not only knows how to get the bull's attention, but the audience's attention as well. Oh, I love Quail Dog. We went all the way to Wyoming to see Quail Dog. He's great. What do these cowboys do without a clown? Nothing. They get hurt. I'm getting something done. Those people are laughing, and, and they're not laughing at me. They're laughing with me or, or for me, or they like me. That's all you need, just a little spark. And uh, that makes you do that much more. Just a good feeling. Quail Dobbs is probably the best barrel man in the United States. Uh, he does the national finals in Oklahoma City. Uh, he does a Houston show. Uh, he does all the larger shows in the United States, and we try to get the best in here for, uh, for the Golden Triangle people. Quail well, is the rodeo, and like all good cowboys, he not only works well with the bulls, he works great with his team of women, Sally, Catherine, and Phyllis. Sally Gooden is a fiddle tune, and uh, Sally's named after, after that tune. Sally's about 17 years old now. And she's always been as fat as she is now, maybe a little fatter. Look, that dog looks just like its master, you know. <laughs> and uh, I think Phyllis kind of resembles me, or I resemble Phyllis. I think we fit. And fit together they do, just like Quail and his car act. I don't think anybody could just take this car act and sell it. And it would be a good act, and they would get as, as, be as, as successful as I am. By now, I'm sure you have a pretty good idea of what quail, his three loony animals, and his wired together jalopy mean to each other. But what really lifts this man to the height of entertainment? I love the sound of my name. Well, it's a roar of the grease paint and the smell of the crowd. As quail prepares for tonight's rodeo, he actually becomes the man behind the grease paint. The YMBL Rodeo kicks off its traditional opening ceremonies. And amongst all the pomp and pageantry is who else but Quail on his favorite mule, Sally. A true showing of thoroughbreds at this event. Phyllis is a special kind of a dog. If she doesn't make it as an actress, she can always go downtown to the Great American Shoe Shine stand and be a shoe shine dog. And she shines my boots. Then she walks on her hands and uh, she jumps rope, jumps through a hoop. She will not jump over the hoop, but she jumps through the hoop. The bulls are back, and so is quail, more entertaining than ever. A barrel man is, is just an entertainer, basically. When I run in front of a bull, or back when I was fighting bulls, when I ran in front of a bull, I like for it to look funny. I like for it to, to uh, entertain the kid up there and impress some of the grown-up people that really knew what you were doing, and above all, uh, you know, impressing the, uh, the bull riders, too, you know. The movie E.T. was a big hit this year, but Challenger 2, the space vehicle of the 80s, Seems to be the biggest hit at this rodeo. When I bought it, it was uh, a Spudnik. I believe I named it Gemini. It's been Gemini. It's been my brand new Ford product uh, after Gerald Ford. Uh, it's been Peanut 2 after Jimmy Carter. And uh, it's been Apollo. It's been uh, Columbia. And now it's Challenger 2. 
Will Challenger 2 ever blast off? Will Phyllis ever jump over the hoop? Will Quail continue to outsmart those bulls? Only time will tell, but for today, one thing's for certain. He's by far one of our most outstanding barrel men in the nation. He does such a job. To be the one to make them smile and forget about the pain. To be the one to save the day when wet and cold from rain. To be the one to pick them up when fate has thrown them down. To be those and so much more is to be a rodeo clown. The highlight to any rodeo show is the bull riding event and the daring clowns who taunt the bulls to come their way. The clowns work together as teams. At the Houston Rodeo, 40-year-old Quail Dobbs is the barrel man, and 27-year-old Miles Hare is the bullfighter. Both risk broken bones and the possibility of being gored, and an attempt to both protect the cowboy and entertain the crowd. I want you to get as wild as you can get. I want you to fight every bull as close as you can fight them, but and they want you to thrill the crowd over performance, but at the same time, they want you to be around the 16th performance of the rodeo. And it can only get so wild and last. Miles is well protected with some football pads, just like the Oilers use. But for Quail, he relies on that little red barrel, and so far, he says, he's been lucky. I haven't been hurt. You know, I broke my leg in 73, and that's one reason why I'm not... Uh fighting bulls that seriously anymore, but, but I've always worked more on comedy and, and, and acts. And. For me, I had a problem from the start. At 6'4", I was simply too big for Quail's custom-made barrel. He's 5'3". But he shoved me in there, knocked me over, and rolled me around trying to build up my confidence. But all I got was an upset stomach. Finally, however, it was showtime, and there was no turning back. We had to I would work four bulls, and I prayed none would come at me. Bulls, I decided to stand back and let the pros do it, realizing last night was my first and only performance as a rodeo clown. You can keep those bulls. I'll just take my barrel and go home. Ladies take to cowboys like kids take to clowns. They both love them without asking why. There's those come on looks and laughter, but when it's time for leave, Everybody cares enough to cry Everybody 